the connection process is also very simple guys first you have to download this dji memo app if in case you are using this app for the very first time you have to sign up and after signing up here you can on the top you can see uh, this option device click on it and it will scan automatically turn on the gimbal by pressing the m button and as you can observe here it already shows this device just click on the connect that's all it's connected here you can observe one message is showing phone is not mounted it's very simple mounting the phone is also and calibrating is also i will show to you because for each mobile the calibration is different because of the weight and as well as uh, this connection of uh, this one also first i'll uh, connect this and also as i shown you previously as you can see here it shows phone camera direction also just place this like this and also you have to be careful little careful while connecting these see here you can observe some gap you have to manage the gap also i think it's perfect now just like this that's all now what you have to do is just turn it off again turn on see now it got connected if you are facing any calibration issues there is an option to calibrate your mobile also i'll show to you how uh, it should be done just click on these three dots and here you can see bunch and bunch of options go to this four section here you can see some uh, device management and everything in the middle you can see more gimbal settings here you can observe an option called gimbal auto calibration i'll show you a little by keeping it a little closer gimbal auto calibration click on calibrate and click on the start see now it starts calibrating automatically just you have to be place this gimbal on a flat surface if in case it is not in flat surface it won't give the correct calibration after the calibration it gives an message that auto calibration is successful and if in case if you want to shoot the video in landscape mode just with gently turn your mobile that's all now it's in landscape mode and also sometimes the calibration is not at all good you have to be take it this is also one of the con i found in this one and now coming to the options i'll uh, share one by one in next part all right guys now i will show to you the each and every button in this gimbal on the front you can see three buttons this is m button which will helps you to turn on or turn off this gimbal and also even you can customize this button also and coming to the next button it is a joystick button these all are opposite reactions for what you are actually doing if you move this joystick to left like this it will move right if you move this joystick to right it will move left same like in up and down also if you move up it will come to closer if you move down it will go up like this and coming to the rotation it is having 270 degrees of uh, rotation not like 360 degrees and coming to the light indicators here you can observe some uh, light indicators it's blinking now first it is green i think you are able to see and following that we are having three light indicators which shows the battery percentage and coming to the battery this one lasts around 9 to 10 hours for a single charge that's so so nice to see and you don't have to worry about it and coming to the right side here you can observe this is the type c where you have to charge this gimbal with the help of this one and i am happy to see that it is having type c and then if you go even side you are having there is an usb type a connector here this helps 
to charge your mobile by using type a to type c or type a to usb micro usb any cable you are having i mean the mobile you are having and coming to the battery capacity this one is having more than 2000 mAh capacity and it's not like a complete charge for your mobile but in emergency situations it will help on the left you are having one slide button which helps to zoom in or as you can observe on the screen it is showing 2.53 it is zooming or zoom mode it's like a smooth zoom not like uh, you are pinching the screen and it will help if you are doing any panning movements with this gimbal and coming to the last button on the back we are having one trigger this trigger is having multi functions if we double press this trigger the mobile will come to its original state i mean original place and if in case if you triple tap this the camera is changed now if i press three times one two three it is in front facing camera like that if you press again three times it will shift to back facing camera so these are the information about all the triggers of this uh, gimbal now i'll show to you the app interface this is the typical dji memo app looks like on the left you can see some bunch and bunch of options if you want to change the video resolution or frame rate just click on this option and coming to this option this option is uh, different for each mobile some mobiles support 60 fps some mobiles doesn't and all the apple devices almost supports the 60 fps in this app and i even tested with my samsung s20 fe this mobile doesn't uh, support the 60 fps i don't know what's wrong with the app and coming to this mobile this is pocophone f1 which is like crazily three years old mobile and this is almost like one year old mobile three years old mobile are supporting 60 fps in 1080p and 4k it supports up to 30 frames per second only whereas in this mobile it only supports 30 fps in both 4k and 1080p i don't know what's wrong with the app and uh, maybe the camera sensor or maybe the software restrictions it is having i'm thinking this is how you can change i would prefer to shoot in 60 fps in 1080p because of if in case i want to scale down i can easily scale down and here you can first option is home option you will go to the home and in dj memo app you can see bunch and bunch of uh, like uh, many of the creators using the dji products you can see dji actions dji drones etc blah 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 things if you want you can watch and check how cool they shot the videos by the help of dji things and if you want to go to the camera just click on this device option now the camera app will open and come to the third it shows the glamour effect glamour effect is also not supported in 1080p 60 frames per second if i change to 30 fps see it shows the glamour effect if i tap on it it turn on and you can adjust whatever you like but i don't use these things yeah there are some plenty of options if you want you can use this also Again, if you want to come back from any of the option, just tap on the screen anywhere single time, it will come back. And below that, we're having three dots where we're having many, many settings here. First, in video setting, we're having flash. Either you can turn on or turn off the flash you like. And also white balance is also there. You can adjust the white balance. See, auto, sunny, cloudy, fluorescent shadow, dusk, anything you like. And next is FT, selfie view. Yeah, I forgot in this one grid section. Grid section is very helpful uh, if you are shooting any particular video in different locations. And next is FT, is selfie. If you turn on this option, the person uh, by like if you are using front facing camera for video recording, if any person is there, it will track automatically. Now coming to the middle option, it is called gimbal section. In gimbal section it is first is follow mode follow mode is nothing but if you drag anywhere on the screen it will follow automatically and you can see there are so many options uh, in follow mode whether it is tilt locked fpv or spin shot and next is follow speed follow speed is you can adjust it by slow or fast and next we're having zoom speed i set it the zoom speed to medium because i want like some crazily good zoom speed 
if you want to fast you can set it fast if you want to slow you can set it as slow also and as i told you earlier m button is used for power on or off if you click this even you can customize m button for photo or video to quick menu also there are two options only available and next is control stick speed it is also i set it to medium and the control stick is nothing but this bottom stick area and next is inverted pan inverted tilt control and come to the final option below that we're having some device settings and everything which is not at all needed at all i am thinking and next we will go to this option section first i'll show you this one is zooming how much zoom present your camera is and next we're having this battery indicators first is uh, for your gimbal and next is for your mobile and next to the mobile battery section the flash indicator is also there and next we're having gimbal is connected or not and then we're having the camera switching you can actually touch on anywhere to change the options and next this one is called gesture control gesture control will help if you are shooting the video by your own only like no person is there to click the record button after ending of the video just by showing the hand gestures or like uh, like two fingers like this also it will stop recording and next we're having different bunch and bunch of options photo mode is there panorama shot is also there and even you can create stories also in this one there are bunch and bunch of options which uh, many of the people doesn't use but there are plenty of options to use in this gimbal i personally like these options in this one but these options only available in dji mimo app only if in case you are using by your default camera these options won't be there at all i'll show to you some of the shots taken in this one and the one shot i really loved in this one is this one panorama shot if you want to shoot three photos at a time on a single location this shot will help actually i show to you what it actually done see if you click this option three photos will be taken by giving a countdown of five seconds each that's so crazy if you want to post your photos in instagram or any social media platforms 